welcome back to my channel if you're new welcome if you're old welcome back if you've been watching for a while you know if I start out with blown out hair you know that a style is coming I spent a lot of time thinking up the title for this video and I'm like I still don't know if I captured it and I still don't know how this hair is gonna turn out naturally says no I could say all this and this could come out completely different in the morning but I have high hopes I'm gonna keep my high hopes so before we get started on the style, I wanted to share a few things with you. First of all, that I achieved this blowout state, which it's like 80% blown out. My roots are still very much like crinkled and I did not get all the way in it, mainly because I was hot, y'all. Oh my gosh, these blow dryers be just sending me to glory. And I have my heat on really high because it's like negative ridiculous amount of wind chill outside to the point where they literally closed Ohio State University where I go to school which they never close um, and they closed uh, all the public schools around here um, probably all the schools so it's freezing outside so I have to keep it warm in here but doing a blow dryer and the heat at the same time I'm in here like I had to go switch to a tank top because I was dying but I did achieve the blowout with this amazing tool it's like a blow dry brush it's a Revlon Pro Collection Salon One Step Hair Dryer and Styler Power Dryer Precision of a Styler and I got this from Ulta over winter break so sometime in December it was on sale for like half off so I think I paid like $20 for it I can't remember but it, I remember it being super cheap but it claims to have tangle free drying in half the time I can attest to the half the time um, I have gone through so many of those the connector heads that go onto like a regular blow dryer with like the toothpick teeth in it I have broken so many of those I mean teeth flying everywhere and then I just have to buy them and replace them they don't always stay on the uh, blow dryer heads so they pop off while I'm in the middle of blow drying it's a lot of hassle whereas this has really streamlined the process I mean it's already a brush and literally the air comes out through the brush um, now I will say it gets super super hot like to the touch up here I don't touch it up there I always hold it down here because and even here like you can feel the heat I do it on high heat well I do it on high heat today because I don't have patience I like that to be waiting around for cool heat but it has um, high low cool and off um, settings so yeah it just really gets the job done in like half the time I was spending when I was blow drying other ways so I love this tool and go check out your local Ulta to see if they have it there I'm sure they do also I'm just gonna get this out of the way I have two friends um, zip friends that decided to join me on today so yeah we're gonna take care of them though we have a face mask and a whole routine that we're gonna get to after this to make sure they don't show up tomorrow morning and also because we're family now I'm gonna let you guys in on a little secret that people think I'm lying when I say it but do you guys see I tell people that college is stressing me the heck out. I've been in college for eight years and here's the evidence. I am literally turning gray and some of you are like, oh that's nothing, like that's not a whole lot. Yeah, okay, I pulled out most of them, so these are ones that are kind of growing back and that's not all of them. You see all that gray hair and let me just hit you with this real quick. You guys, I'm literally turning gray like I am not even 25 yet I don't turn 25 till next month like what in the heck is actually happening I've got to get out of college it's stressing me the heck out no I'm just kidding I'm not gonna blame it all on college I don't know why it's happening I don't know if this is my stress spot I don't know y'all but I'm turning gray but anyways back on focus to what today is all about so like I said I'm throwing out on blown out hair I am going to use eco styling gel styling gel of choice I'm not going to use a lot like for each section very little just so it can like really mold to the twist and do what I needed to do so from here on out I'm just going to get to work and let you guys watch what I do so here we go so the first thing I'm going to do is section out the crown of my head and kind of put it up and then I'm going to work with that section around and just take a fairly large section, kind of medium size I guess, and some Eco Styler gel. And I brush through it just to make sure it's nice and straight. I had to grab a little bit more for the ends just to make sure the ends were secure. And then I start twisting. And I try to do it pretty tight. And then I grab one of my flexi rods. This was the purple one, which is like a medium size flexi rod. And I start off by rolling just to secure the end. And then you'll see here I start kind of like pinwheel twisting it. Um, all the way up rather than just rolling it up um, it tightens it and it also will give kind of like a bantu knot effect which you'll see at the end now moving on to the next section taking another about medium sized section 
and you see I'm not really caring about the parts because it's all going to form together and I am actually twisting this toward my face because I want the curls to kind of fall uh, rather than setting apart so I didn't really part my hair um, but again wrapping that twist around and just doing like a regular roll and then I start pinwheel twisting it all the way up and it will get tight so you'll feel when you should probably not pinwheel twist it anymore. It'll kind of pull out your root and then I just kind of roll it and secure the top part of that flip rod. Brushing your sections out is really important because you want to make sure this is as straight as possible so that you'll get a nice clean curl. So that's what I did there, twisting it up again, rolling it and then the pinwheel twist again. I go ahead and speed it up from here but you can see again that I am doing these curls straight down the front of my face because of how I want them to fall um, there's no part there's no anything like that and I follow that same process all the way around uh, the perimeter of my head and then I'll go back in and do uh, that middle part that crown part so here's all of the flexi rods on the bottom and then you see we're taking the crown down and getting ready to section that off and um, kind of following the same pattern of doing it around my face and toward my face, um, kind of down. You can tell better than I can explain it. <laughs> and that was the last one. So this is my hair once it's done. And I just grabbed my extra large super size bonnet that has made it into many a tutorial. And I kind of did the most there and realized, oops, can't see. <laughs> so anyways, put my bonnet on and I was so tired, you guys. So time for bed <laughs> and here we are the next morning um, I was already dressed and ready to go and so excited to take this down I was kind of nervous to see how it goes but um, as you can see what I'm doing is just folding the flexi rod out and um, unraveling it kind of in the opposite direction of the way that I pinwheeled it so I'm being very conscious about the curl not to disrupt the curl pattern so similar to my Bantu Knot tutorial, if you've seen that, I'm taking it down um, in the opposite direction of the way that I set it. Now that they're all out and my scalp is free, I go ahead and grab my Argan Oil of Morocco by Organics. It's a thick oil, which is why I really like it for taking down my styles. And you just pour some of your fingers and you want to rub that all the way down uh, the curls. So I'm not pulling too tight, but just enough so that they're shiny. And then once again, I'm unraveling this in the opposite direction of the way that I twisted. And you can see I'm going very slow. I made sure to um, not speed this up just so you can see just how slow I'm going to make sure that I don't disrupt the curl pattern. A lot of times this is where people make mistakes and they start raking through the hair and basically ruin the style that they just did. So I'm literally unraveling it from the root all the way down to the tip um, in the opposite direction of the way that I twisted them. And you'll notice I start off by only unraveling them once. So I'm literally just unraveling the twist and then I'll go back through, you'll see in a little bit, and further separate them. So now I grab a little bit more oil and um, I go back through and separate each of those strands. And again, starting from the root all the way down to the tip and being very careful, very conscious, allowing the hair to split where it wants to and just kind of guiding that opening all the way down to the tip. So this was after I went through and separated it um, again and then I just kind of go through and feel where uh, maybe the curls are a little tight at the root and still twist it up and just kind of further separate it so that my hair is full. So I give it a quick shake but I still know I want more volume because it always starts off flat so I grab my uh, handy dandy pick and I just take it to the root, I grab sections to protect the curl and you're focusing um, the pick on the root so I'm not raking it all the way through the curl, just really focusing on the root. 
and here's my day one results and I liked this you know I was feeling it but I kind of wanted to do a little bit more so I decided to put one side up so I kind of flip it over and figure out how I want it to look seeing if it's you know gonna look how I want then I grabbed my flexible styling snap by cream of nature this stuff is awesome amazing and I put that down there and it'll slick it up real good then I grab my cream of nature coconut milk 24 hour edge tamer and I just grab a little bit because this stuff is so strong and I just put it more focused on the ends and then this is literally how it looks already with me just doing it with my fingers you guys like I haven't even put a brush to it or anything um, and so I just grab a few bobby pins and put them in kind of in an X shape then I just kind of played around with it, fluffed it up a little bit, and pulled some hair down just in front of my ear and tucked the rest behind my ear. I loved that little curl. Honestly, it just brought this whole look together. And y'all, let me tell you, <laughs> feeling myself, honey child, feeling myself. <laughs> I haven't styled my hair like this in quite some time so I really didn't remember how it was gonna turn out and I don't think this is what I expected but honestly I'm so pleased with how it came out I mean honestly this was such a cute look and couldn't be happier so if you enjoyed this I hope you will stick around subscribe like share leave me a comment if you really enjoyed and I'll see you in the next video bye